This is Mike with Apple Irrigation. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to troubleshoot uh, your end gun. Uh, one of the most common phone calls we get as Valley dealers is end guns not coming on or end guns not sh shutting off. Uh, we're going to step you through a few quick things today that you can look at to maybe help troubleshoot this on your own. Uh, let's go to the control panel. At the control panel, this one happens to be a Valley Select 2 panel. Uh, when you have an issue with the end gun not coming on, on a Select 2 panel, the very first thing you want to do is look in the status box right here. This particular panel does not have the power on, but you will have a picture of an end gun icon. If the control panel is telling the end gun to be on, you will see that icon of the end gun in the status box. Uh, step two, this only applies to machines that have no booster pump. If you have no booster pump, you're going to have an end gun solenoid. A very quick and easy way to check to make sure that uh, the solenoid is electrically good is to just ohm it out. This procedure will only work on a computer panel uh, and again only with uh, a end gun solenoid. You simply go to, uh, you want to ohm out white to pink. Here we have 190 ohms. As long as we're reading somewhere in that 170 to 200 range, we know that electrically the solenoid is probably good. Uh, this test will not work if you have the mechanical switches, or excuse me, it won't work if you're at the control panel with the mechanical switches. You would have to go to the first tower box, is probably the easiest way. Uh, disconnect the pink wires and then ohm out pink to white going out to the end tower. All right, let's go take a look at the end tower. We are up on a machine that has a five horsepower booster pump. A couple of things you want to look at when you have a booster pump and the end gun is not coming on. First thing you want to check is this pressure switch right here in the tower box. There is a tube going to it. It has to sense water pressure for the end gun to come on. A lot of times this tube can get plugged with sand or we've actually seen it on occasion where this fitting here has broken off. Um, many times if the fitting breaks off you can still thread this fitting back in. Take this tube off, make sure it's clean. Very worst case scenario if you're in a pinch and you need to get up and running you can take uh, these two pink wires tie them together on one terminal that'll bypass the pressure switch. Not a good idea for long term because the booster pump will then run uh, with water in the off position. Let's go over here and take a look at the booster pump itself. On top of an irrigator with a 5 horsepower booster pump and a Nelson 800 series valve. If you purchased your Valley Irrigator from Apple Irrigation and it has a booster pump, it's going to have this Nelson 800 series valve. Uh, we put this on every irrigator we sell automatically because we found that it really eliminates a lot of issues with the end gun not coming on. Using this valve, we eliminate the electric solenoid and it really improves the reliability of the machine. All this valve does is it senses a difference in pressure, line pressure versus boosted pressure. When it sees that difference, the valve automatically opens and the water flows out of the end gun. Uh, number one scenario we see with this is again uh, sand. If you see here there's a tube going to the valve then going back to this filter. Underneath this black cap is a little filter. Make sure that that's clean. Number two, 
remove this line and blow through it. Make sure that there's no sand in that line. If you do have a lot of problems with sand, we recommend upgrading to this Valley Heavy Duty Water Filter Kit. It mounts on top of the pipe. The sand has a much harder time getting up into the filter area. If it does, there's a much wider filter area and it really, really reduces the amount of end gun issues. Okay, another thing to look at while you're up here is the reset button on the booster pump. Uh, this is a very similar reset like you would have on your grain bin augers. Make sure to push this button in and make sure that that's functional. Okay, let's go take a look at the next thing. On a rare occasion, sometimes this Nelson valve will get airlocked. Uh, it happens on occasion, not very often, but when you first start up in the beginning of the season, if the pivot is maybe pointed downhill or something like that. Uh, if that ever happens, usually just shutting the water off, turning it back on solves the problem. There is a little air relief valve right here and uh, you can check that to make sure that it's uh, not plugged with sand. Uh, ideally this valve should actually be mounted on the top of the, the pump. Okay, let's go take a look at the, uh, the next issue. Here we are up at the last tower of the machine with an end gun that is does not have a booster pump, we have to remember that it takes power and water to shut the end gun off. The most common problem with end guns that are not operated by booster pumps is the end gun does not shut off. So, we owned out the pink and white wires at the control panel. Uh, if it read open, we either have a bad solenoid or a bad have a fuse going to the solenoid right here. Inside here, you can check that fuse. If that's good, just replace the solenoid. Okay, that checks out just fine. Then you want to check this little screen right by the, the filter. Uh, the screen should be clean. You can take this tube off, you can blow through it with your mouth. You should be able to blow all the way through. Take the tube that goes to the end gun valve off of the solenoid right here, and you should be able to blow all the way through the solenoid. If you cannot blow through the solenoid, the solenoid bad. Uh, there is outside the end gun a red aquamatic valve. To be honest with you, uh, that valve that Valley uses is virtually. scenario, bad solenoid, um, or plugged filter. Again, if you have a lot of sand, I strongly recommend the Valley Heavy Water Filter Kit. If you have a mechanical panel with the mechanical switches at the pivot point, uh, you can test those switches, but again, I almost never ever find those switches to go bad. Video helps you uh, troubleshooting your valley machine.